Look into their eyes and you see a longing, perhaps thoughts of living free in the rainforest, high in the trees, safe from conflict, and hard to find. This is how it should be. But today's rainforest is increasingly a place where freedom is difficult to find. Fires, logging, the illegal pet trade, hunting, and the biggest threat facing orangutans in their rainforest homes, palm oil production. And this is why so many traumatized, injured, and ill orangutans end up at a place that is their only hope for a bright future. The Rescue, Quarantine, and Rehabilitation Center, operated by the Sumatran Orangutan Conservation Program, SOCP, near Medan, in North Sumatra. The always overburdened facility inevitably has more residents than it can handle, but SOCP never turns away a new arrival. How could they? First stop for new residents is usually to the medical clinic to visit veterinarian Yeni Saraswati. She's come together with uh, two friends, one Kiki and then the other around on Islandi. So today I will reduce, uh, I will do in the medical check. After health checks and an extensive quarantine period, the young orangutans are then placed in large socialization cages, where they meet and learn to interact with others like themselves. Once they graduate, the lucky ones are taken to forest school, where they're taught how to survive in a sometimes hostile, free environment. When they've mastered the ropes, the luckiest are finally ready to be reintroduced into the wild. But what about those orangutans that can never be released into the wild? Orangutans like Lucer, a large male who was shot 62 times but lived, although blinded for life. Lucer and others like him will have another type of future, and it too will not be in a cage. He will one day call Orangutan Haven home. Orangutan Haven will provide special needs orangutans a place to live a free though provision life. Right now we're standing pretty much in the middle of what we've been calling the Orangutan Haven. And this is the area where we plan for the Orangutan Islands themselves, where we can develop some facilities, naturalistic areas for the orangutans that we can't release, like Losa, Tila and Deknon. This is perfect. It used to be fish ponds and there's a, a permanent water source into this area. They'll feel the grass under their feet, have trees to climb and food will be plentiful. Their future lives will be better than what brought them to SOCP. So we got him last week, and then two days ago, Yenny and myself stitched it, but then today we had a look in there. A little bit sick. He's old. Each year, they return to the OC OVAG workshop to share, learn, and renew deep bonds that began at the first gathering in 2009. The workshop was started by the Orangutan Conservancy's Dr. Raffaella Comitante. Uh, from the very beginning, our aim was to uh, empower the people here, locally, that are working uh, with orangutans. During a week-long schedule of lectures, practical sessions, and group exercises, the attendees, over 60 at the 2015 workshop, are armed with data from their colleagues that proves invaluable for the year ahead. The workshop works, I think, because of the international collaborations that people are, wor are working in. Uh, the primary focus is for Indonesian and Malaysian uh, veterinarians and health and animal health workers to take the focus, but no country in the world acts as an island. And uh, with that sort of attitude, they are now empowered to go and ask for assistance or, or consultancy from outside organizations. And in a sign of continuing growth for the workshop and those who attend, in 2015, the Indonesian vets took a major role in planning and running the event themselves. This step forward assures that the workshop will thrive from within, long into the future. It can take a very long time to find a wild orangutan. Even for researchers who study them every day at the Orangutan Tropical Peatland Project, OTROP, located in the Sabango Forest in southern Borneo. The journey to OTROP includes a longboat river ride, 
followed by a nerve-jangling jaunt along a rickety hand-built railway that was the former property of a logging concession. It's been over a week since researchers at Otrop have spotted an orangutan. Is it any wonder? The forest here is dense and lush, primarily because of protections accorded the area since 1996, unlike so many other threatened areas across the country. The work being done here includes forest productivity and habitat regeneration. Numerous wildlife studies, including those on gibbons, red langers, and cladded leopards, and dam building to reclaim damaged peatland. Final goal is to block all these illegal lotus canals that were built in the 90s. And what we're doing and trying is to um, design different dam um, types. This is a double wall dam, <laughs> living dam. So it means it's a double wall, we fill it with peat and we plant trees on the top. So when the, the planks rot, the, the, the trees can actually um, grab the, the, the peat and then blo naturally block the canal. This is just some of the important work being accomplished by the OTROP team. But the key focus at OTROP is the umbrella species, orangutans. So our primary work has been running for over 11 years now, um, most notably with our orangutan project. Um, one of the first things we started doing when we first arrived was we started doing population density estimates on our orangutan population by going out in the forest and doing nest surveys. Our work actually helped make this area into a national park in 2004. We're following Feb and her son Theo, who's about five, and we've been joined by a flange male and an unflanged male so far, and we've heard someone else over there, but we're not sure who it is yet. You hear them before you see them. And then, there they are, just above you in the treetops. Faster and stronger than maybe you thought. Clearly in their element, they remind you that you are a guest in their home. And as quickly as they appear, they're gone again, deeper into the forest. Yes, it's definitely hard to find an orangutan, and that's a good thing. 